Hey, welcome to the wonderful world of kidney dissection. Um, I'm just going to give Hannah Smalley a shout out. She's the dissector. And I'm just going to sort of uh, walk you through the gross structure of the kidney. Well, I've got one open. So lovely. Um, so the kidney is surrounded by a little kidney capsule. It's very smooth, lovely to feel. Uh, just like the outside of the lungs were and the outside of the heart will be. Um, so yes, lovely, lovely. And we can see when we get in, so Hannah's just cut it uh, straight across so that she's got two sort of kidney shaped halves. And we can see that there's a very distinct area here, the cortex. Then we've got the medulla, this sort of pale a bit. And uh, let's see, where does it show up best? I think here it shows up best that this is a, what's called a renal pyramid and you can see it's got a gap around it. So, um, this is where the urine is going to drain into and it's going to end up in here and this white fibrous bit is the pelvis and here, lovely lovely, I've not got a pair of forceps so I'm going to have to use my fingers um, we've got the tubes going in and out of the kidney so um, effectively I think that could be the ureter. It's quite hard to tell, not being a medical person. Um, See, so effectively, you've got three things going in and out of this region. So you've got the uh, blood vessels. Um, so you've got the renal artery and vein, and you've got the ureter. And I'm thinking that because of that, where that is attached to, and it seems to be sort of draining out the bottom of the pelvis. I'll just stick my seeker through and see if that is it. I don't know, that might be the blood vessels then. Um, yeah, I think that might be the ureter there, look. Um, and these will be the blood vessels, one of the blood vessels going in and out. So, that's what's kind of exiting there. So if we get into sort of the nitty gritty of, yeah, that's got to be the ureter. Look at that, it smells fantastic, um, of where the nephrons are. So in the cortex, we've got the glomeruli. Those are those little, tiny, uh, little balls of capillaries with the Bowman's capsule surrounding them. And then also we've got the proximal, near to the Bowman's capsule, convoluted tubule. And then it heads off into the loop of Henley, all the way down to the bottom of the pelvis right down, descending down towards the pelvis, ascending back up towards the cortex. Another set of wiggly tubules, this time they are further away from the uh, Bowman's capsule, so we call those the distal convoluted tubules. And then critically, going back through the same medulla, we've got the collecting ducts which head down towards the pelvis and they're draining the formed urine into this kind of gap at the bottom of the pyramid which is then draining collecting here you can see this is quite a fibrous layer and then collecting and exiting out through the ureter uh, where little peristaltic contractions push it down towards the bladder for storage before release um, so when you get sort of into the detail of the kidney effectively in the glomerulus we're doing ultrafiltration the blood's being filtered we've then got that proximal convoluted tubule recovering the um, <clears throat> the things that we want back into the blood. The loop of Henley making a uh, salt concentration gradient for removal of water by the collecting duct. So different animals have different medullary thicknesses. The aquatic mammals things like um, otters have, and beavers have very short loops because they live in a quite an, a wet environment, they're aquatic obviously, so they don't run out of water, they don't need to conserve it. Um, we've, we live in a mesic environment, we've got a kind of medium length, just like this sheep has medium length medulla, and then a thicker medulla means a longer loop of, of Henley, you can make a far saltier medulla and therefore you can withdraw far more water from the collecting duct and so that's a real bonus for conservation of water. What that of course means is that less urine forms down here and therefore um, because you've got less urine 
forming, it's got a smaller volume but it's far more concentrated. Okay, that kind of wraps it up for kidney dissection. Well done, Hannah.